For a franchise that spans 45 years, it can be hard to choose a best or defining moment of the Halloween franchise. There are so many great moments to choose from, especially considering this is a series that has had multiple different continuities to go with. But there is one that holds a lot of weight in the entire franchise, and it's from Halloween H2O, one of the first attempts at retconning a few of the sequels away, with it instead being a direct sequel to Halloween 2 as opposed to Halloween 6. H2O is a great addition to the Halloween franchise in general, but there's a specific moment and subsequent sequence of events that really elevates it. After Lori, John, and Molly manage to escape Michael Myers and make a beeline for her car, Lori realizes that Michael is never going to stop coming for her unless she puts a stop to him once and for all. And so she tells John and Molly to go and get help before shutting the gate behind her. Fearlessly arming herself with an axe, she makes her way back into the school, calling Michael out. It may be a relatively short moment, and it may sound silly to say that Lori yelling for Michael is the best scene in the entire movie, but it's the truth. The moment feels like it carries all the way to the entire franchise with it. Lori here is taking a stand, setting out to face the shape once and for all, no matter what may come. The stoic look on her face and her fierce grip on the axe is a culmination of all the years of torture that she's gone through due to the trauma from that night 20 years prior. It's also why the ending of the movie hits so hard, even though it was horribly retconned in Halloween Resurrection. No matter what your thoughts on Halloween H2O, there's no denying that this is Lori at her most badass. Despite films coming after it that either ruin or completely ignore H2O, this moment in the movie perfectly encapsulates the Halloween franchise as a whole.